Gourmet every day. That is a big promise. Our resident Bon Vivant is back with three ways to make your next party a success from caviar to sparkling wine. He has got you covered. Let's give a big round of applause because he needs it and deserves it to Sean O'Keefe. I don't know if you need it, but you deserve hey, it. Who is he? Who, who is, is he? that guy? Is he He's in incredible. Where is he? Where is he? I mean, this is a way to end a show. So I it's mean, about bubbles. Everything uh, for me yeah. is bubbles. Bubbles, caviar, bubbles, dispelling the belief that you can't afford it. And really? I like to just go American. Okay. This is an American, you can't even, it's funny, you can't call it a champagne. You can't even call it method champenoise anymore because the French got really snooty. Surprise. Surprise, and, yes. And um, what they wanted to do was to create truly an American sparkling wine house. Okay. In the 50s, the gentleman who started Gruet in New Mexico came to the country and found in these parts of New Mexico soil conditions that were similar to champagne. So this truly is an incredible, breathtaking champagne house, Method Champagne Was House, sparkling wine sparkling house wine. here in the United States. So you're not paying for the, the fancy French family that's right. been owning the vines for thousands of years. This is 60 years old that they've been doing this. Okay. They make everything from a rosé to a, an extra dry to a demi sec and it's just beautiful <laughs> I'm champagne. Like, I'm like, you're, I'm, I'm salivating. Let's for have... me, you can't talk about champagne without talking about caviar. It's the James Bond thing, right? It's the it's the bubbles and yes. the eggs, and it's just, it's beautiful. And I know some people like it and some people don't. Right. But I wanted to dispel some of the, the myths about caviar. Okay, tell okay, me. Okay, so um, it's not always from the Caspian Sea. All of the caviars that we have before us, the trout, the salmon, and the American heckleback, and the UGA sturgeon caviar, believe it or not. What? Wow. Licensed, li it's, it's licensed with the G on it, right? <laughs> I love that. And, um, these are all American produced. And you're saying it's affordable. Like if I go it's home affordable. tonight and say, we're gonna have sparkling wine and caviar, Jim wouldn't say, what? Jim, well, Jim might. Water? Yeah, he, yeah. <laughs> he, he you might. You know Jim, he might, um, yes. But, like for example, so when you're looking at really high-end caviars and that stuff that you know that Alexis Carrington Colby would have yes. eaten on Dynasty yes. with their $200 a bottle champagne, you can do that at about a $15 price point <gasps> for a Gruet Rosé. What? And $20 an ounce for the American Heckleback. Okay. And the American Heckleback is great. It's basically Heckleback or Paddlefish Row. Okay. Right? It's solid, the, the, the egg is firm, it's intense, it's got a slightly goldish brown color to it, it has a high salt, co salt content, and it's firm, it's not soft and frail. Like, when you see like the Romanoff caviars yeah. in your store at room temperature, yeah, don't buy them. Yes, they're no. dyed. They, you know, if you put it on a paper towel, you'll pick it up and you'll have black dye on it. Ugh. That's not the case with this at all. So let's quickly go down through sure. what we do. Okay, so egg is always on caviar to people's choice, and to make it look even fancier, they separated the white from the yolk. So it's not rocket science, right? right? It's just making sure that all the little visual parts of the elegance are laid out for you. Why Radishes? is that? Excuse me. Let's go back to the egg. Why egg? What um, does it do to the to the egg? <laughs> It doesn't do anything to the egg. It does something to the final taste and the mouthiness of the caviar. Okay. Okay, so when you add yolk, you're adding a fat content. When you're adding white, you're adding a clean austere protein. Okay. So you get more of a gummy sensation with the yolk, and then the 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 yolk also adds fat content to it. Okay. So it makes it a little bit sweeter. Ooh, all right. So, Brian said we have about two minutes. Uh, that's a Let's lot of time. Tasting. Let's Good. start with I hope so. the Blanc okay. God, de Noir. So, so the Blanc de Noir is 75% Pinot, 25% um, Chardonnay. Ooh. Really light, small bubbles, delicious. That was a big swallow. Sorry about that, everyone. I think my mic picked up on that. And then that's delicious. This is the heckleback, served on a buckwheat bellini mm -hmm. with a little bit of creme fraiche, oh, some beautiful. onion, and separated egg. It's cute. I'm going to have the same caviar mm. on the radish. That's delicious. Oh wow, that is wonderful. And the radish makes it very simple. Yeah. Very clean, very easy. Oh my gosh, Let's love go down. this. Crunch, 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 crunch. Okay, I'm moving on, I guess. Mm. Gruet, rosé. I, mm. I love a sparkling rosé, although that was fantastic. 100% Pinot Noir, 2% Pinot Noir skins left just to taint the color a little tiny bit to give it that look. Okay, am I canceling my workout? Probably. No. No. Mm. Small, clean, apricot, nice finish. Beautiful. Um, it's so funny. It left my mouth. Yes. And then my mouth got wet. Yes, yes. And I'm kind of like drooling a little bit. Yeah, that is Let's wonderful. Let's add to the drool okay. by having the UGA caviar. Right, so this is me. an Ocetra on the radish. And then here's fancy 
a potato chip. How fancy is potato chip? Mm. Right? So, I mean, it's not fancy. It's fancy because we don't know what it is. Right. That and is as soon delicious. as you know what it is, it's great. Oh, I love radish with caviar. I mean, and I'm not a huge radish lover. That is amazing. Mm. Sean, this is wonderful, and I love the pairing. And you're telling me this is a great price point mm -hmm. of this sparkling wine. Yep, and they're wonderful. The company is community-oriented. They are working with me now on some of the nonprofit events that we do to make sure that people get that right level of buzz that's needed to support the charity auction. <laughs> buzz, no pun intended mm -hmm. there. All right. Oh, no, it's not a B segment. Yeah, okay, exactly. Did you yeah. want another one? All right, one more, and then all we right, got all about so 30 let's do seconds. This one. Okay. I feel a nap coming up. I know. This is the extra dry fruit rose. It's a great, great, great little thing. Okay. 100% Chardonnay, all right. peachy, and peachy. marzipan. And okay. again, marzipan, ooh, it must be expensive. It's almond paste. Ooh, so it's just love simple. That. Brian says we have to go. What are you pairing with that? And um, we will tag out by simply saying to chat with Sean about design, culinary ideas, anything that has to do with just elegant style. This is your man, Sean O'Keefe Events. Sean O'Keefe Events on Facebook. Have him plan your party. I'm telling you, you will not regret it. He's amazing. Smoked trout roll. Mm. I'm so tired already. Delicious. I just want to curl up in this weather. We'll be back with more after this short break. Mm.